Hi, my name is Joe DuPont and today I'd like to teach you the basics of tying up a drift setup for steelhead fishing. Basically drift fishing is, is casting out and bouncing some type of bait or a corky along the bottom. It's a very popular technique and you can catch a lot of steelhead using this technique. Now there are many different ways you can attach a weight to your line and I have displayed in front of me several of the different uh, pieces of equipment you can use. So for example we have a slider here and actually the way a slider works is you, you run your line through the slider and then you can attach uh, a weight on it. It could be a slinky or it could be a pence piece of pencil lead with a hole in it. A very simple type of slider is actually a swivel where you can actually just put the line right through the swivel here and then right on the bottom of the snap swivel you can again attach a, a slinky or a piece of pencil lead. Some people like to use these uh, pre-made three-way swivels here. Uh, you can buy them right from the store like this. Then you'd tie the line on here. You'd put a weight on the bottom. In this case, you'd have to use a piece of pencil lead. You can attach different lengths in here depending on how fast the water is and how far you might want to cast. Um, and then on the other side, you just put the hook. Uh, a very simple technique is just to run a piece of tube through your line. Uh, and Then you can just put the weight on the end of it. A very simple, easy way. And then a, a little more complex way that some people like to use is a three-way swivel. You'd put the line on one end and then the other end you'd have a dropper coming off. And this kind of lets you uh, adjust how far away the weight you want from, your, from your, or your bait. It allows you to fish at different depths if you need to. And then finally I need to mention the, the types of hooks or baits that you're going to use on it. For steelhead fishing you don't have to use very real large hooks. A lot of people like to put a little bit of corky on, on it and sometimes you use a small corky like this. Here's a double hook setup actually and this the corky is to keep the hook off the bottom so it doesn't snag and actually might keep it right in front of the fish more. Um, some people like to tie yarn on their hooks such as this one here and they think that when the fish bites it the yarn can stick to their teeth which I think is, can be very effective. If they want the hook again to float off the bottom they can put d different corkies on. There's a lot of different corkies of different sizes and different colors. So if you have a favorite um, just go with your favorite. Uh, and then some people go with just a straight hook. You can put shrimp on it, you can put an egg on it, uh, you can put a whole lot of different types of baits. So, and usually what I like to do um, is have about a foot and a half of line between the the weight and and the hook and I like to use a smaller die or smaller pound test line in case you hook the hook on the bottom you can break that off without breaking the rest off. So let me show you how to tie up one of the easiest setups that I think is very effective and I would recommend that um, people who aren't familiar with this to use this one. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this piece of short piece of tube we're going to thread uh, the line through it and remember this tube is what the weight's going to attach to. Then I've already set up a, a barrel swivel on this particular hook here and all you do is uh, you tie the barrel swivel on to your line here. And what the barrel swivel does is it helps prevent the uh, tube from sliding down to your hook. And then once you have your uh, tube on here and your barrel on here, you can just slide the weight right over it. Again, you can adjust the, uh, how much weight you want on here based on how fast the water is or how far you might want to cast, how fast you want your drift to occur. Then on the end, other end of the barrel swivel, you have your line that goes, again, to your hook. So there it is. Very quick, very simple, and very effective. Go out there and try it.